Hello everyone, this is Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff and I have the Galaxy Note 2 in front of me today with a very neat case on it. This is the Hardbook case by Spigen SGP. I want to show it to you. A lot of you are very excited about the Galaxy Note 2. Maybe you have yours yet, maybe you don't. Maybe you're waiting for me to hurry up and put out my review. I'm working on it. I swear I filmed a lot of it today and it should be done very soon. So don't worry about that. Let's go and check this guy out. I have tried out a lot of different kinds of cases and lately the one that I am loving to pieces is this hard book case for the Galaxy Note 2. I have to show you why I love it so much. So I do have the Galaxy Note installed in the package. It just comes with the actual case itself. It doesn't have any screen protectors or anything with it. It just gives you a little bit of information about their other products. But as always, Spigen, you make the nicest packaging. How much plastic do you end up using and is this recyclable? The case itself comes in several appealing colors. I happen to really like the blue one. The fabric itself is wonderfully grippy. This isn't a case I'm worried about dropping. On the front here you can see that it says Spigen. You can also get a little bit of an idea of what the texture that's on these cases. On the back here, you have a nice sizable opening for your camera and your flash. There's no issues with any obstruction or bounce back with the flash. And you've got a nice little hole for your speaker here and also for your pen so you can easily get it out. The inside is a hard piece of polycarbonate. You can see that you have your authentication there. You can tell this is a speaking product. You also have a slot to be able to put a credit card or so in there. The interesting part about this case was these little knobs. I'm like, what are these little knobby things? Is it supposed to keep some type of separation between credit cards and the screen? Okay, maybe that's interesting, but no, let's go ahead and grab the phone. The phone is very easy to slide in. I recommend going volume rocker first, then just simply pushing down. Back to them little buttons. So you can see here, this doesn't stop at the edge here. You actually have a little bit of give so that you can bend it. So look what you can do. Ta-da! If you are watching a movie, which I do all the time, I sit in bed, I set my phone on my chest, and I watch stuff. This makes it so much easier for me. And I can just snap it shut this way when I feel like, and it's just like a little book cover case. Very, very nifty, I have to say, Spigen. Probably the best feature of this case is the binding. I am very, very picky about these types of cases that work like a book because the binding usually causes issues. It doesn't want to bend backward. It doesn't want to stay and then it creates ugly creases in it. But check this out. When you bend it backward, it feels really nice. It's just like opening a cloth bag and setting back that flap. It sits nice, flat against the phone, no force. The whole weight of the phone itself keeps that cover down and it doesn't cause any issues. It's very irritating, such as if you are using something that's heavy leather. It's not going to want to stay like this. I can even crease this if I want to. Look at that. It stays nice and in place and doesn't cause any trouble for me when I'm reading or playing games or texting. So this fabric rocks, Began. Then it snaps right back into place as if you didn't abuse it at all. Doesn't start coming apart, doesn't ruin the seams. Perfect. Now, as far as protection, I am convinced this does quite well for me. I wish it had some way of keeping it shut because if it were to hit the floor, I would hope that this would stay shut, but I'm not quite sure about that. But still, there is a little bit of a lip to this inside polycarbonate piece of plastic. So if it does hit the floor, hopefully you'll be hitting those edges instead of directly on your screen. If you're someone who's incredibly paranoid like me, and you absolutely love the screen on the Galaxy Note 2, I fully recommend getting one of these book type cases. The screen is just too big to have in your pocket without something protecting it. The phone is relatively easy to take out of the case. I recommend going to the bottom where you can see you grab that pen part there. Just put your finger in, slide it up. I haven't had any issues with the shell scratching the finish on the phone, so that is also a plus. Let's go ahead and do a pocket test to see how practical this is for you. Ladies, if you want this case, I suggest keeping your phone in your purse. Gentlemen, I hate you. It's not fair. Your pockets are so big that this won't cause any trouble for you at all. So let's go ahead and show you what this behemoth looks like in pocket. This is probably an awkward angle, but I think you get the point here. Here is the case on the phone itself. 
These are very tight jeans, my tightest fitting jeans. Let's uh, see how good this... Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 that, that feels... That feels mighty nice. That's uh... Nope, no, I'm, uh, I'll keep this in my purse. I mean, this, this could work out, you know? If, if I'm someone who's very, very persistent and uh, want to break in that pocket, yeah, that, that'd be all right. Just don't expect to wear this with very tight-fitting jeans. It just kind of looks rather ridiculous. Back pocket action. No, nah, I don't know. No, nah, I'm still not that convinced. Just looks like I've got a big square in my butt. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can add me on Facebook. I will add you as a friend, I swear. You can add me on Google+. You can get to all of those links from my YouTube main channel page. And there's also a donation link thingy in the box as well on that right hand side. So you can check all that out. And also thank you so much, Spigen, for sending this out to me to review. This is probably one of the most awesome, bestest cases that I've seen in a while, and it certainly protects your major asset on your Galaxy Note 2, which is your screen. I don't want anything to ever happen to Jose. Yes, my phone is named Jose. So have an awesome evening, everyone, and good night. I'm gonna go eat some tostadas.